welcome in today's video we will see how to design and get the output for a three level multi level inverter now already i have configured the diagram this is the way we need to connect the blocks next i will go into the details of the each blocks this is a cute diagram for our three level multi level inverter here for dc source i have given value of 200 resistor value 1 e power minus 6 capacitor value 550 e power minus 6 second capacitor value 550 e power minus 6 here we are having 4 igbt in each leg this leg also consists of 4 igbt here diodes are connected Here also diodes are connected across each IGBT. Then here two diodes are connected across this center two IGBT. Similarly, two diodes are connected across the two center IGBTs. This is a circuit connection. The load is connected to the center of the two legs. The load is connected to the center of the two legs next now let us go into the configuration of your pulse generator block amplitude to 10 time period 20 e power minus 3 pulse width 12.5 phase delay 37.5 e power minus 4 Next, amplitude 10, period 20 e power minus 3, pulse width 37.5, phase delay 12.5 e power minus 4. For third pulse generator, 10, 20 e power minus 3, 87.5, 62.5 e power minus 4. For fourth generator, 10, 20 e power minus 3, 62.5. 87.5 e power minus 4 10 20 e power minus 3 12.5 137.5 e power minus 3 the difference between these two legs here phase delay will be in hundreds in here here the phase delay will be 12.5 here phase delay is 112.5 remaining things are same 10, 20 e power minus 3, 37.5, 112.5 e power minus 3. 10, 20 e power minus 3, 87.5, 162.5 e power minus 4. Next 10, 20 e power minus 3, 37, 187.5 e power minus 4. Next now, let us, the R value is 500. Now let us change, set the simulation time to 0.1 and simulate the circuit. Now this is our 3 level multi level inverter. This is a 3 level multi level inverter. Thank you.